Hello, so today we're going to learn how to install CiviCRM onto a fresh installation of WordPress that we're going to put into a subdirectory of the uh, .website domains that we uh, bought for the web design class or specifically for this class. We're also going to learn to fix a specific issue that's been cropping up on these .website domains. Um, if you're just here to figure out how to fix the .website domain, then go ahead and click the annotation to skip ahead to that particular um, time index. If not, we're just going to start by installing CiviCRM onto a fresh install of WordPress. So to begin, you're going to go to civicrm.org. And go to the download tab. It's going to ask you for money or something or other. And just say it, no thanks, just take me to the download page. And since we're doing this on WordPress, we're going to download the, uh, the latest current version. And while that's downloading, I'm going to install a new thing of WordPress by going to my cPanel. DocsRCool.website is the thing that I bought just for this class. And using the Softaculous app installer, I'll just create a new thing of WordPress. I'll make this in Civi example. Now that it is installed, I'm going to go back into the control panel because we need to do some um, file uploads. Go to your file manager. And we're going to go into the public HTML. That's the root directory of your site and find the subdirectory that I created for this new WordPress install, city example. And there are a couple of things that we need to do. If you're following along with the official Civi documentation, then you should know what I'm doing, but I'll just describe the steps that I'm doing. We start at Civi example, which is the WordPress installation that I just made. Go into WP content, into plugins, and I'm going to do two things. First, I need to create a folder called files. And then I need to upload CVCRM. You can just click and drag or select file, go to your downloads, get it. And that should be done. I'm going to go back here and just hit reload until that thing shows up. Even though it says it was 100%, sometimes it takes longer for some reason. I don't know, that's just a funny little quirk. Once it actually shows up, then it's time to extract the contents of the zip file. And we're just gonna ex extract it right here into plugins. There, it's done. Okay, and that's about all that we need to do here, back here in the um, file manager. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the back end of WordPress. And this was what, Civi example. Yes, it was perfect. Okay, wp-admin. So the word, uh, go to your plugins, and it's going to tell you Kismet is probably out of date, who cares. What we're interested in here is Civi CRM. We've uploaded the plugin to the back end. Now we just need to activate it, but then it's also going to act to ask us to con um, configure Civi CRM. So go ahead and click that link. It's telling me that everything is uh, hunky dory. On yours, you should look down here at the PHP version. I have already changed this to the correct version of PHP, which is PHP 5.6.3. If this is something different on your website, then you need to go back to your cPanel, go to software, um, PHP, select PHP version, and here you can select the version of PHP that you want. Um, if I remember correctly, on these dot website websites, it was set to PHP version 5.5. We want it set at 5.6. You just hit 5.6, set as current, and um, it's save. You don't need to mess with any of these settings. They're all fine as they are. So all that stuff's done. Everything is coming up green. It used to be that you had to manually enter the um, 
ser uh, the database information, but it um, CVCRM now apparently just pulls it directly from the wp-config file. Um, you could definitely hit um, check requirements and install CVCRM right now, and it would install for you, but we're going to go ahead and do this the right way in that we're going to create a new MySQL database for CVCRM to be in, um, to install its data into. This is much better practice because it makes it a lot more easy to um, manipulate data sh from the database should you need to, and it makes it a lot more portable. <clears throat> so go ahead and go back to your cPanel, and we're going to scroll down to databases and go to MySQL database wizard. We're going to create a new database, a database user, and the um, password. And what I'm going to do is actually save these on just kind of a paste pad. Um, might as well just do it right here. By the way, this is notational velocity alt called NB alt. It's a very, very useful uh, little scratch pad note taking app. Um, it's always going to be append prepended by your cPanel username underscore and then something else. So we'll, we'll call this civi exam. I'm going to save that. Duck bath H. Next step, create the user. I like to just keep it being the same as the username. And the password, I will just use my fancy little uh, lock icon, uh, my little secure password generator. I'll copy that. Paste it in, paste it in again, save it right here, create the user, check your privileges, you want all of them, and there we go. We've created the database, the database user, and the password that that user will use. Let me go back to your um, Civi backend and put in this new information. So just keep it as local host. I'm going to change this to the database and the database user are the same. Copy the password, paste it in. So this is going to install the Civi CRM data into a separate database that um, the website and Civi will work off of together. Otherwise, it's going to create a really messy database for your WordPress install. Um, these aren't going to change, of course. We need to check the requirements. It's saying that everything is good. We updated our PHP version. Um, no problems elsewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and check requirements and install Civi CRM. So we're going to get a number of errors. Um, one of them is super easy to fix. The other ones are, they're also easy to fix, but I need to give you a little bit of background on how to do that. Um, so first things, and you could have done this beforehand, go down to settings, general, and we want to set a time for our site. This is actually super important. Change it to Los Angeles. Don't use a UTC, use a Los Angeles specifically. And that's all you have to change for that. The second thing, and you would, um, you'll would you notice that Civi CRM is installed, so it gives you this little uh, toolbar icon for Civi CRM. And you also notice that it takes a whole lot of time to load. And that's because, well, I don't know why this is. Basically, there is some issue that's going on with um, installing Civi CRM into subdirectories. And specifically, to installing them onto subdirectories on these dot website domains. So I've installed Civi onto plenty of subdirectories on other websites that do not have a dot website domain and they all work just fine. But I've consulted the documentation that's telling me that um, that's actually not what it's supposed to, that's not where it's supposed to be. So where are we supposed to go? Um, you'll notice what you should be seeing right now is a menu up in here with all the Civi modules on it, and you should also see this nice dashboard, and you should also see a bunch of styling, but instead you see, well, basically nothing. And that's because there's this issue going on. So I'm going to search for this um, Stack Exchange topic that I have. Sorry, I didn't have this queued up already. 
Um, basically, it took me several days to figure out what the hell was going on. Um, and if you want to know the entire saga, it's actually a very good case in how to problem solve for stuff that is actually out of your depth. But for now, I'll just give you the Cliff Notes version, and you can refer to the lesson as you need. Um, what is going on is that if we look at the um, console, you'll see what the issue is. Um, I should tell you that um, what I did right here was that I opened up the developer tools. All websites have these. And I'm looking specifically at the console. And it's going to tell you any errors that are happening. And basically, the server is responding with a whole bunch of errors. Failed to load resource. The resource responded with the status of 404. What all this is telling you is that a whole that two mainly two things are going wrong. One is that it's not upload. It's not loading any of the CSS files. Those are responsible for style and everything. And it's also not loading any JavaScript files. And these JavaScript files are important for various functions of Civi's dashboard and also for how it um, just builds itself. Essentially, the software is broken. And I can show you what the problem is. And if we zoom in on this, um, hopefully I know how to do that with my screen recording software. But if we can zoom in on this, then you'll see that the path to the file that is not being found is incorrect. You start with HTTP colon slash slash ducks are cool dot website slash civy example slash civy example slash WP content and then blah, 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 blah. All this stuff after civy example or after WP content is correct, but you'll notice that it says civy example twice. It repeats the subdirectory that we installed civy CRM into twice, which is, of course, there's nothing there because there is no civy example slash civy example. It's just civy example. Um, if you read, um, this took me a whole lot of time to figure out. Um, if you ever read that thing, uh, Paris is beautiful in the, the spring, you, your mind glosses over the second the. Uh, well, that's what happened with this, and it took me like three days longer than it should have to figure out what was the problem. Anyway, I don't know why this is going on, but we know how to fix it. And that's because the good folks over at um, civicrm.stackexchange.com um, gave us some insight that basically what we need to do is um, tell civicrm what its base URL scheme should be. If I was in a functioning thing, then I would just use the toolbar and go to administer civicrm settings resource URLs and change it there, but I don't have a toolbar. So what I have to do is just copy this um, URL and then add it to my own URL because they're actually universal. And don't worry about having to go to this topic, although you should, and read it and try and figure out everything. And also, major shout out to Chris Burgess. Helped me immensely in this. I'm going to copy that. This will be pasted in the description of this video. And you'll see that it starts with WP admin. So I'm just going to cut everything after WP admin, paste it in, and go to that. I'm speeding through things um, in the software, so just remember that it might take you like 15 seconds to load any one of these pages. Um, the thing that we want to change here is the CiviCRM resource URL. Right now it's saying CiviCRM.root. If you go to settings.civicrm. PHP, then you'll actually see that CiviCRM root is correct. So I don't know why the hell it's doing this, but we know how to fix it. That what it's asking for is where is it supposed to find CiviCRM's module to begin with? The resource URL that it's actually asking for is um, it wants to know the path to the CiviCRM folder that's here in plugins. So let me just re re reload this. CiviCRM, CiviCRM. This is the one that it's asking for. Not the Civi CRM folder that is here in plugins, but if you click on it, if you double click on it and go in, then this is the Civi CRM folder that it's asking for. And so the file to that is WP content slash plugin slash Civi CRM slash Civi CRM. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Go to the settings, 
and I'm going to type just the um, the absolute URL that I'm telling it to go to. So that's HTTP colon slash slash ducks are cool dot website slash civvy example slash and I'm actually going to um, throw this up in text edit so that you we know that you can see what it is. This is the correct file path that I'm putting in. The website, the web root, the subdirectory that it's put into. Oh, I accidentally I accidentally repeated it. We're not supposed to do that. See, this is why I put it up here. Civi example, WP content, plugins, slash Civi CRM, slash Civi CRM. This is the domain root that it's supposed to be um, sending to all its other processes. So I'll paste that in and hit save and hope this whole thing works. And it looks like stuff works. You'll see that now we have this sweet toolbar. If I go to Civi CRM, then the dashboard will actually appear and we can access Civi Contribute or Civi or manage our contacts or anything. And you're ready to get start to start um, getting learning on Civi CRM. Whew. So we learned how to install Civi CRM into a fresh install of WordPress that we put into a subdirectory of our site. And then we learned how to fix the issue that was going on with um, it not functioning properly. Um, do you have any? I highly recommend that you read the accompanying lesson that goes along with this, uh, explaining how we actually got to the solution for the issue that we were having, because um, issues happen all the time. Like this is the first time that we've ever encountered this, and it took a lot of doing, but understanding the process that you go through to fix things is super important to understanding how to fix things in the future because we can't anticipate problems you might have. Um, so yeah, now you've got your Civi CRM, ready to start learning.